If you've ever wondered why some relationships seem to fail while others thrive, then stay tuned. Do you feel like you're stuck in a cycle of failed relationships? Discover the antidote to break free and build a lasting love. I will share with you today five powerful faith-based secrets to help you avoid relationship failure and build a love that lasts. Let's get started. First things first, we need to talk about healing from your past. We all carry baggage from our previous relationship, but holding on to that hurt can sabotage your future happiness. Take time to reflect, pray, and seek guidance to heal those wounds. Some wounds are eating deep into our bones and marrows and we might need external help. In this case, if you need therapy, if you need to talk to someone, please do that. Ensure that you heal. You deserve a fresh start without the shadows of yesterday. Next, let's discuss the power of forgiveness. Holding on to grudges is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to suffer. Life doesn't work that way. Forgive those who have hurt you and let go of the pain. This is because it's not just about them. It's about freeing yourself. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32 reminds us to be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving one another just as in Christ, God forgave you. Everyone talks about forgiveness, but then it's one simple but difficult thing to do. How do you know that you've really forgiven those who have hurt you? A simple test that I personally use most of the time is when you see that person, when you hear from that person, what emotions do you feel? Do you feel rich? Do you feel annoying? Do you, you know, go back and recollect everything they have done to you and you feel like, you know, just hurting them or something bad happening to them? If you feel that way, then you are caught up in the web of unforgiveness. You haven't forgiven yet. But if you see them and you can smile genuinely without your emotions being all over the place, then I congratulate you. It is possible that you might have forgiven them and you are on your way to enjoying a blissful next relationship. Now, here's a crucial step. Look out for patterns in your family and even with your friends. Are there recurring negative behaviors that you've noticed? Identifying these patterns is the first step towards breaking them. Believe it or not, life is spiritual. And so many of us, the things that are going on in our lives, when we look closely at things that might have happened in the lives of persons in our family or our closely knitted companions, or should I say friends. For some reason beyond our understanding, these things happen and when you are not careful, when you're not very careful, it might happen to you as well. I've personally noticed patterns in relationship in my family from when I was very young and I was conscious about this pattern. And so I made up my mind, took efforts, intentional efforts to ensure that those same negative patterns do not repeat themselves in my life. Of course, this negative pattern began in my life as well. It wasn't easy. Even though I had noticed the pattern of relationships with women and men in my family, some way, somehow, I thought that by realizing it and, you know, physically making efforts to ensure that it doesn't repeat itself with me, then that is the end. No, darling, it didn't just end there. I have to take further steps. Pray about it. Consciously pray about it. And, you know, seek guidance. Sometimes it is even beyond us. But one thing that we know as children of God is that our God loves us so much and he wish that above all things we prosper and be in health. Even our relationship, he wants our relationships to, to be healthy. So when we notice negative patterns and we go to him in prayer and supplication, you and I know that there is nothing, absolutely nothing that our God cannot do. So take this part very seriously. If you are yet to look into your family and find out patterns that are unpleasant in relationships, then you have an assignment to do. Please do so. 
work consciously to avoid repeating these circles that you've noticed in your own relationships. It's about time to create a new legacy of love and faith. On the other hand, if you've looked into your family and there are only positive patterns and behavior in relationships in your family, then congratulations. But don't just relax. Make sure you keep praying and committing your relationship into the hands of God. Being positive and intentional in our relationships can make a world of difference. So many of us, the only dose that we need to make our relationship better is positivity. I wish I can just impact positivity into your relationship from here, but I can't. You have to do it yourself. You have to be positive and be intentional in your relationship if you want it to succeed. Proverbs in chapter 17 verse 22 tells us that a cheerful heart is a good medicine. Approach your relationship with positivity and intentionality. Be intentional about the little things, your words and your actions. Remember that love is an active choice that we make every single day. And finally, don't start a relationship during your low moments. Never do that. Because when you're feeling down, it is easy to seek out someone to fill in that void. And when that happens, wow, you might start the whole circle all over again. I hope you don't. True love starts when you're whole and happy on your own. During your low moment, trust in God's timing. Focus on self-improvement. And remember, one of the popular verses that we all quote, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, Verse 1 says, there is time and season for everything under the sun. Taking care of yourself spiritually, emotionally, and physically sets a solid foundation for a healthy relationship. Don't ever forget that relationships are a journey. And with faith as your guide, you can navigate through the ups and the downs. So heal from your past, forgive and let go, break negative patterns, be positive and intentional and wait for the right time. Your antidote to relationship failure starts with these steps. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more faith-based tips. You know there's no way I'm letting you go without sharing the word of God with you. So today I'm sharing with you the scriptures in Psalm chapter 37 from verse 4 to 7 and it says, Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord, trust in him, and he will act. It will bring forth your righteousness as the light, and your justice as the noonday. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not yourself over the one who prospers in his way, over the man who carries out evil devices. Through our delights in the Lord, it grants us the desires of our hearts. Success then comes through one's devotion and dedication to God who knows the best path to true fulfillment. Wishing you all the best in your relationships. See you next time.